Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a quick get ready with me. Uh, my face is still covered in blemishes and I'm gonna run some errands today. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different than I normally do and hope it works out. Um, I already moisturized and put primer on my face. I used a green primer. It's, let me show you. So I used this primer. It is the Prime Blur and Redness Control. It definitely blurred. I don't know about redness control. I am trying to find something out there that has good redness control. So yeah, I'm going to actually go in with my concealer first. And I'm like, wait, let me make sure I didn't, I did the right color. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to use... I like this mirror a lot. But I'm realizing it's probably not good for the camera because it's like too big. I may get. My sister's coming over, so she'll probably walk in on the video. So y'all know. I'm gonna do my nose because makeup always comes off my nose. Now I'm gonna use a Morphe M173 brush. And I'm going around the blemishes not directly on top and I'm just feathering and blending it out. I'm going to spray my face with the Mario Badesco. Just because I feel like it keeps my face hydrated as I'm adding all these uh, liquids and powders on my face. We're just going to just gonna push, push it in. Okay. So I'm trying a new foundation today and I'll take y'all with me throughout the day. Let y'all know how it works. It is... A, a healthy luminous it's true match lumi it says healthy luminous makeup um which i really i went and got it because i need a luminous look right now my skin has been dry and just eh. i used a retinol cream and it made my skin really dry which you know everyone told me it would happen but i used it anyway and it kind of brought all my blemishes up but that I didn't know it did. So someone was like, oh yeah, it brings everything up. And I was like, okay, I wouldn't have used it then. And whenever people said it would dry my skin, I really, I was like, eh. I don't think it'll dry mine just because I don't have dry skin. I was wrong. And it didn't help that I was in the sun all last week. Okay, so now I'm just going to go with a little bit on the area where I have my blemishes. I'm going to go with a little bit more foundation. And I'm going to flip it to the side that has no product and I'm going to blend it out. Like, you know, just around so it kind of blends with the rest of my face. Not as noticeable that I do have more foundation there than everywhere else.
sister just sat on my bed and realized it's broken. That happens to us all the time. <laughs> like one of us will lay down and it just completely falls backwards. <laughs> Sometimes you're just like, fuck it, we're sleeping like this. <laughs> it's like, we're tired. I actually did not use my Tarte Shape Tape for this. I am using L'Oreal Visible Lift. It's this. That's what I used. I, well, I really wanted to use my Age Rewind, but I cannot find it. I haven't used it in a long time since I got Tarte Shape Tape. And I want to get the NARS uh, Creamy Radiance or something. I, radiant. It's like a creamy radiant something in the name. You know, just for every day because I feel like Tarte. I love Tarte. Like, it's um, freaking amazing. But sometimes, like, it's just too, like, I put it on and then I'm like, okay, I need to go full glam now. And your girl's not trying to go full glam for running errands in the San Antonio heat.
product I am putting on is this Super Stay 24 Hour by Maybelline. I need a lip liner though. Nope. Eh, what lip liner am I going to use? I need to like organize my lippies in a way where I like can see everything a little better. Definitely not that one. Pulling that one out already. And that one looks good. I put this one out and I don't even know where to put it now. I'm gonna go with something it doesn't match with. Okay. Please be sharpened. Barely, but yes. So I'm trying to convince Albert to let me get the Juvederm lip fillers. I keep seeing YouTubers get these lip fillers. I'm like, they look so good. Because I'm not about the over lining your lip part because I think it looks freaking stupid. Like, you missed your lip. lips aligned now we go with this so it's like a two-step one it says one is a color and then two is the other side I don't know what the other side does but we're just gonna do it the way it says two what color is this oh my god like I can't even see those words on an orchid I think it's on an orchid mm, that's super pink I'm trying to find like a lip lip thing to wear for the wedding. Um, I'm really hoping this works. It's like eight bucks, nine bucks. I think it's eight ninety nine. Um, this color way too bright for the wedding, but because I'm wearing like purple eyeshadow. Oh, my AC sucked last night. Our room was so hot last night. Our house went up to 79 and I set it to 66 like I always do before bed and when I woke up it was still like the lowest it got was 70. Our thing breaks all the time and like they have to like suction some water stuff out of it. Oh. Like it won't go below like 80 or something. Now I'm going to do this top one. This lip color does not go with my eyes. Who cares? I'm just trying the formula. I really don't care. And I'm gonna try Too Faced lip, in lip Injection. I've used it once before. With no product on my lips. My lips look bigger now. I'm done. Um, and last but not least, I'm going to set my face with Prep and Set Setting Spray by Morphe. With nothing missing. Guys, my face matches the rest of my body. Like, this never happens. I can never. I never pick the right color. I'm always like, okay, I gotta go return this. Oh, I love this so much. What does that do? It sets your face. Okay. So it doesn't move around and whatnot. Alright guys, so I'm gonna go throughout the day and I'm gonna show y'all what I think about this foundation. Um, definitely my skin doesn't feel or look as dry as it usually does um, with the Wet n Wild and Maybelline. I love the Wet n Wild and the Maybelline. But right now, that my skin is dry, they're just not working for me. Um, so I had to change it up, and I was a little scared to change it up. But this is this looks good to me. Um, and um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I'm gonna go throughout the day and see how the Lumi works. Um, I am worried because it is a luminous foundation in summertime. 
those kinds of foundations can tend to move around a little i really like this color like i can't wear this for the wedding but i really like it okay don't be distracted um uh, so yeah i will take you throughout the day and just kind of show y'all what it's looking like and let y'all know what i think okay guys let's ignore this crazy eyebrow but i have been wearing um this foundation so one hour so far um and I really like how uh, luminous it looks. Um, it's still staying put. I am nervous that it's gonna get oily. Um, but how many, what's the weather, Mom? Uh, well, it was in the garage. It's probably like 90, uh -oh. 95. It was in the garage, the car was, so it says 84, but it's probably like 95 Seriously, right now. Doubt it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not 84 in Texas on July 11th. 12th. 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 So yeah, y'all stay tuned and I'll just keep y'all updated. We're about to go eat lunch. And so we'll see how this lipstick works through lunch and how this foundation works through the heat. Hey guys, so mm. I have been wearing this foundation for eight hours now and the lipstick. Um, I don't like how it looks. Um, I feel like it got darker too and it's just, it's just not looking good on my skin. See, like, it's pretty much like all my blemishes that were hidden, everything is gone. Is like, I can see it now. Um, it's like just coming off everywhere. It like, can I get this closer? It like is in my fine lines. It looks oily. Um, so I'm just not really a fan. I'm gonna try it mixed in. I'm going to try it mixed in with my um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus and see how I like that. If not, I might, hopefully I can return it. Um, so yeah, the lippy, <clears throat> I've been licking my lips, I went to go eat. And I mean, it's just kind of, I don't like the way it feels, honestly. So, still going to try and find another one of those. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching, and this was the, what was this foundation? The L'Oreal Lumi? Yeah. And Matt Maybelline, or Revlon. I don't know. Y'all will see it at the beginning, what I used. Um, so, both of them are going to be no's for me. I st I'm going to try the foundation again with a different primer and maybe mixed in with my matte foundation. But... I don't know. I just feel like like that doesn't look good anywhere. All right, thanks for watching guys.